Hello and welcome to module number two. And in this module we're going to be taking a look at organizing your vault. My name is Brian Shannon and I'm product manager for the Autodesk Vault family of products. So a quick look at the agenda. We're going to be talking about some new functionality called projects inside a vault and uh, we're going to outline their flexibility, uh, their organization capabilities for all of your digital prototyping uh, assets. Next we'll take a look at navigation, uh, some new enhancements to the client user interface. Uh, we'll take a look at a, a technical comparison of how is this different than the 2011 and prior releases and we'll wrap it up with a nice summary at the end. Let's talk, talk about uh, organizational tools for digital prototypes. As you may or may not already know, you know Vault is plugged into all of the, uh, the CAD applications. The idea of Vault is it's there, it's a central source for all of the data. So to, to wrap this into a benefit statement, uh, customers use Vault to get their hands wrapped around their data. And we need to reduce the, the duplication of data. Oftentimes we see that the same file appears many times or people make, uh, make the same copy of a file, call it something different just so they can have it inside of uh, their own unique silo. So we also find that different CAD systems create nested subfolders, various object types, and make a, a, a number of, of different file types, and they're everywhere. They can be strewn as, as much as they try. They may be strewn uh, throughout Vault. What Vault 2011 provides is the ability to have project folders that collect all of this data. We're actually going to um, collect all of the data in terms of uh, shortcuts, also known as links inside of one location. So when you talk about a project, it's generally not always Inventor, always AutoCAD. It's everything, all of those files. So let's take a look at how that benefits the customer. The new project container paradigm is an environment that allows us to take all of the data types, and I'm talking not just files, but also items and change orders if you're using Vault Professional. Take all of that data and put it inside of one folder. And it's not a regular folder, it's actually, think of it as a super folder. This super folder has categories. It can have, of course, the life cycle, or the, uh, uh, not life cycle, the user-defined properties. It can have security on it. It can have everything that folders used to have, plus more. This allows you to search across it. So when you put user-defined properties on a particular folder, we can search on that. And the search results will res uh, reveal items, ECOs, files, and now folders. So projects are these super folders and they are actually given categories. The reason that we categorize things like we categorize files is so we can sort, we can, we can group, we can add some intelligent uh, information to an otherwise you know, just empty folder.